New Age Tactical back with another episode. Today we're talking rocket stoves. First things first, my apologies for another scenery change. Today we're in my office, <clears throat> but I do have good news. Uh, we are going to be filming on Tuesday, so we will have... We're going to try and film as many episodes as we can to try and keep us going for the next couple of weeks, but we will be going back to the old way for a while, hopefully keep it that way, <laughs> and no longer be doing these side videos at my apartment. Otherwise, rocket stoves. So we're going to start off with the materials I used. Uh, the base layer was a coffee can. Then we had on the interior layer was a pumpkin, like a like a pumpkin filling can. The uh, piece coming out the side is SpaghettiOs. And then the final piece that I did add was a pineapple can. It just so happened that the pineapple can fit just over the pumpkin can. And that just kind of worked out as my, uh, as you'll see in the video, my way of making a pot holder. So being at my apartment, I don't have access to all the tools that we normally have. So I have to kind of make do with and sometimes it requires some finagling. Okay, yeah, so using tin snips kind of butchered most of the metal, but I was just doing my best to get it to hold. I did use quick steel on the outside as kind of like a weld for where the spaghetti can entered the side. That was strictly so that the insulation would not fall out. By the way, I am drinking Breckenridge Brewery's uh, Avalanche Amber Ale. It's not bad. It's light. It's easy drinking. As far as the insulation goes, I was limited with what I could order online, and I didn't want to use, I mean, insulation-wise, you can use sand, gravel, rocks, anything, really, as long as it holds heat. So in this case, the lightest material I could find was perlite, which is the, uh, the volcanic glass that they use to like aerate soil. So reason I got it was it was extremely light. I also wanted to keep the rocket stove lightweight, you know, in case there was a way I could make it portable. It was all the things I was thinking of down the line. So ordered it, it took like three weeks for the Perlite to come in, but finally came in. Now the problem with Perlite, I read that inhaling the fine dust that comes with Perlite could possibly cause breathing issues. So as a precaution, being that it was gonna be near heat, I did take a bit of soil and kind of make it over, like, make it a layer on top. As for the fire, I really did think that getting the fire going was going to take a lot longer, and it, it was up and burning hot in about five minutes. When putting the water, the one cup of water, onto it, I was immediately impressed at how quickly it was happening, but then it basically burned too hot too fast, and... I couldn't keep it going again after that and it was right at the cusp of boiling it was right there and I could not get the fire back up the other reason being is doing this at my apartment I'm doing it on my back deck and at that point in time in the video neighbors were starting to look out their windows and I was just like probably best that I have a fire going right now and I kind of put it away so my thoughts on it are it's awesome but it needs constant attention to keep the fire going. It will cook fast, it'll cook hot, but I see now with the hiking and the camping stoves, having a fuel tab 
yes, you're limited on time, but at least you know the time frame and you don't have to tend to it to keep it going. Whereas with a rocket stove, it's the same as tending a camping fire, just a little bit faster with the aeration. After the build, I definitely have some ideas on how to make it better, how to seal off the insulation so that you could possibly make it portable. Because I will say, I, I will have to weigh it, but it was extremely light and I was surprised. So as always, I want to know what your thoughts are. I want to know what you thought of my design, how you would have improved it. Have you made one yourself? I mean, hell, send, send us a photo on Instagram. I would definitely want to see what you built. But, uh... Yeah, it's uh, definitely, in my opinion, better than the soda can stoves. It also went better. Um, I just wish I could have got like an exact boil time because, in my opinion, it, it would definitely have beat out the hiking stoves times in terms of boiling. It was just time and place and a whole lot of smoke. So, other than that, you know the drill. Like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Uh... Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back in the studio and getting back to some knives. Uh, Jared's got a new EDC bag. We're excited. Also, if you're uh, wondering about the hats, this is the, uh, the stay-at-home hair that's happening right now. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Uh, new Age Tactical over and out.